Uh, Sean, how would you say uh, training's been going so far heading into this uh, first road trip of the season? Um, obviously, after a disappointing opener for us, um, we think we, we've come into training full of confidence still. And we've had a good training session and we've worked on a few things that I think lacked and we needed in that game at that time. And now that you've had a chance to, uh, you know, you're getting more training sessions under your belt. The guys have been able to play toge uh, together. How would you say the progress is with getting to know players' tendencies, you know, connecting on the field and really starting to build that offensive attack? Um, that's, a, that's always just going to get better and better. And the longer we play together and play in a certain system and learn each other's movements and touches, um, it's always going to improve. What's happening, Jim? <laughs> Is talking to Coach and, and Rambo, going into the first game of the season, there's a lot of pomp and circumstance with opening a new stadium. you got the home opener, and now you're coming into a game where it's a little bit low-key, just your first road trip of the season. Has it changed the mindset a little bit of the team uh, during the course of the week? Um, yeah, no. Obviously, um, the first home game, um, it, it, it would have been um, – it was always going to be a hard game against Toronto. Um, we, we knew how they played, and um, they, they played well when they got the early goal, but um, – for us, it, it's just more of a thing of like we stepped into the pitch. We wanted to um, make it a good night for the fans and for ourselves and for the coaches as we worked so hard over pre-season. And um, at the time, it just wasn't to be, although we did create um, a lot of half chances that we could have done better with. And first road trip of season, just the second match of the year. Uh, does that work to your advantage a little bit or would you like to get a couple home games before you go to your first road trip? Um, no, um, we're just taking every game as it comes and preparing to the best of our ability for every game and uh, and we're going to go there and try to win we know we're going to be playing against another good side and um, we've got to have a wits about us and take our chances whether they're half or full chances uh, you received a bit of good news this week with your son being called up to the england u16s uh, what was that moment like for you um the, the the news was the most amazing thing i've heard um i've always said to him as a as a young kid and um, always work hard stay back after do your extras and work on things that you think you're lacking in and and it seems that he, he's done that and he's and he's pushed on and I'm just very proud and delighted for him. I just wish I could be there to watch him. How would you find out about him? Um, my um, my son and his mum told me um, last week, so it was just something I had to keep quiet until obviously it came out and was confirmed. Well, we'll just, uh, now that he's going into his first camp and you've had your, your own experience playing and re representing your country, uh, what's the one piece of advice you've, you've given him You know, now that he's reached this point? Um, he texted me and I was speaking to him yesterday and he said he, he was a bit nervous and I just kind of said to him, it's normal to be nervous in a, um, at a big time in your career like this so far and all you have to do is just go out and do what you've been doing and just stay positive. Um, you've done well enough to get there so you don't have to go out and prove anything. You just have to go out and play the game you've been playing. Awesome. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you.